Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about FL Studio 20, um, specifically the FL Studio 20 release date. I know that uh, currently when you Google around and you check different sources, specifically uh, music production sources for the release date of FL Studio 20, you probably won't find much. And you probably even won't find much on the um, image line forum which can be kind of strange, but not really actually. Now, before we proceed, um, there's an announcement I want to make uh, for this channel. And that's basically that um, in the coming weeks, I'm going to have some FL Studio giveaways. You certainly want to subscribe to my channel in order not to miss any of these free stuff, free FL Studio stuff. And when I say FL Studio giveaways, I'm not just talking about uh, free tutorials, you know, of course, these you can stream them um, directly on YouTube, but I'm talking about actual giveaways that you can use within your own copies of FL Studio. So please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for future announcements. All right, so back to the topic of the day, FL Studio 20. So I'm going to take you through a series of dates that led to the current buzz around FL Studio 20 and then I'm going to make my prediction. Okay, so FL Studio 20 really started getting a lot of traction when um, the site admin of the Image Line forum, his name is Scott, when he explained why there wasn't going to be FL Studio 13 as people were expecting. And he gave two reasons for that, which are known to most FL Studio users. And the first one is the 20th anniversary of the products. And the second one is superstition. So speaking of uh, superstition, you'll be surprised to know that some aircrafts don't have row 13 simply because, you know, some believe that it's unlucky. It's an unlucky number and stuff like that. Anyway, back to um, the topic. The only date that we have so far is 2018. That's the only detail we have from ImageLine themselves regarding the release date which is really not enough to work with for now. So what I'm going to do now is take you to the next big announcement around FL Studio 20, and that happened uh, in September, that same month actually, because the first one was 19th uh, September 2017, the, the explanation, that's what I'm referring to. And the uh, next version of FL Studio 20 was um, a bit less than two weeks later, when there was an announcement that work on FL Studio 20 was well underway. So that's cool, but still not enough, you know, when is the exact date. So um, what happened then is that uh, at the time, if you checked even the news page, you still wouldn't find much, obviously. They talked about uh, a remix context and everything, but never any specific detail regarding the release dates of FL Studio 20. So the next big thing was FL Studio 12.9, a beta version. Okay, so that was the following month on October 20, uh, still in 2017. And um, in, in this updates, like they, um, they announced the, the rollout of some fresh features and all of that. And um, that beta release had an expiry date, which was uh, 15 January 2018. So after that, they had another update, a second beta release for FL Studio 12.9 once again, and that beta version has an expiry date of 15 February 2018. So that's all good, but then the question now is why are we even having, first of all, why are we having FL Studio 12.9 after the uh, announcement of FL Studio 20? And moreover, why are we having better releases of FL Studio 12.9, which actually precedes FL Studio 20? Well, the answer was given uh, right here. If you check um, the bottom of Scott's post, he explained that FL Studio 12.9 serves as a disguise for FL Studio 20 better releases. So the features are rolling out and all that, the, every feature that we're testing or we're helping them test at the moment, we should expect them all in FL Studio 20. Of course, not all the features being talked about in Loop Talk are going to be in the initial release, but then we can expect, 
you know, it sets a batch of release um, consistently on the long term, uh, where eventually we're going to have all the features that we requested and all the features that we tested. So now that we understand that FS Studio 12.9, and he didn't write like 12.9.1 or 0.2 or something, just 12.9 is uh, the disguise for FS Studio 20. This can lead us to understand that FS Studio 12.9 beta releases should more than likely precede a stable release of FS Studio 12.9. Currently, the, the uh, stable release that we have is FS Studio 12.5 and uh, precisely that is FS Studio 12.5.1.165. So I, my prediction, my first prediction here is that instead of having the FL Studio 20 uh, stable release in March or April, as many are saying online, what we're going to get around March or April is the stable release of FL Studio 12.9. And then shortly after, we're going to get FL Studio 20. So one thing to keep in mind is that um, major releases of FS Studio are not automatically uh, in March or April. Okay, that's how it's been for the last few releases. I think since version 10, if you check here, you will see that version 10 was released on uh, 29th March 2011. Then two years later, we had April 20, 2013 for version 11. And then version 12 came out in April 2015. So that's pretty consistent. But then if you check in the past, previous versions were more like, um, you know, September, November, January, December. It's kind of random. So what I'm saying here is that FL Studio have already turned 20, which makes sense that they now release the product. But then uh, with all the testing that they're doing, we should expect the summer rather for FL Studio 20 to come out. Because uh, believe it or not, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And if you check every um, beta release, all the uh, the features that they come with, uh, you know, they need to fix some bugs and everything. So um, if you check here, for instance, you will see that uh, still we're talking about beta versions with expiry dates. So we should probably expect like an FL Studio 12.9 and then uh, the FL Studio 20 to come out. Of course, like I have not spoken to image line yet, you know, this is not something that has been confirmed or that they've told me behind the scenes or anything, but this is something that I think uh, makes sense. So if FL Studio 20 doesn't come out in March or uh, in April, you know, uh, just hang on, it might come out uh, in the summer. All right. So um, whenever FL Studio 20 comes out, I will have a new video here on my channel with the confirmed dates, the exact dates. All right, so please subscribe and uh, make sure you turn on your notifications. So uh, for now, I think that's it and I'll catch you next time. Bye.